Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard about climate change or at least felt its effects through extreme heat, unpredictable rainfall, or disasters like floods and landslides. All of these are signs of the climate crisis impacting our daily lives, making it even more important than ever to understand what's happening and to take action. Yet, conversations around climate change can often feel overly scientific or weighed down by jargon, making them hard to follow. But don't worry, we've got you. In this video, we'll walk you through some key climate terms to help you become more climate savvy. The term anthropogenic comes from the Greek words anthropos, meaning human, and genesis, meaning origin, and is used to describe things caused by human actions. In the context of climate change specifically, it refers to the human-driven aspects of the climate crisis primarily due to activities like burning fossil fuels and reducing forest cover. Climate mitigation is about tackling the root cause of climate change. It addresses the crisis in two main ways, by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and by enhancing natural sinks that can store these gases. This includes transitioning to renewable energy sources using energy efficient technologies or solutions like afforestation and recycling among others. Climate adaptation involves making significant changes to our ecological, social and economic systems to manage the impacts of the changing climate. This includes relocating vulnerable communities, building climate-resistant infrastructure, improving disaster preparedness and developing response plans for heat waves and other extreme weather events. Climate resilience is all about understanding that we need both mitigation and adaptation to tackle this crisis. It's not just about cutting down greenhouse gas emissions, but also coming up with ways to deal with the impacts we're already facing. Common but Differentiated Responsibilities, or CBDR, is a key principle in global climate talks. It basically says that while it is true that the climate emergency is a global issue and everyone has to pitch in, some countries have contributed more to the problem than others. Historically, certain nations have emitted more greenhouse gases because of their industrial activities and higher consumption. And so, they need to take on a bigger role in solving the crisis. Loss and damage refers to the climate change impacts that can no longer be avoided or reversed. These include damage from climate-related disasters, such as floods, storms, droughts, and rising sea levels, resulting in the loss of property, infrastructure, cultural heritage, and biodiversity. In 2022, a fund was established to support countries most vulnerable to climate impacts. For instance, India is the seventh most climate vulnerable country in the world, with nine of its states among the top 50 most vulnerable regions globally. However, the funding pledged as part of this loss and damage fund remains significantly lower than what is needed. To learn more about climate terminologies or any other social sector related themes, topics or issues, you can now log on to IDR Answers and find everything at your fingertips.